Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people. Hi, and welcome back inside the State Champ Sports Network studios on the campus of Lawrence Technological University. State Champs is presented by Lawrence Tech, and we are your home for high school sports on the best sports network in the state, Fox Sports Detroit. I'm Lauren Plant. We have got a full plate of highlights for you this Labor Day weekend, but that's not all. No, it's not. I'm Kier Hay, and we're going in focus this week with one of the stars of the Netflix series, Last Chance You. Brittany Wagner is the academic coach on the show, and she's brought her talents to Madison Heights. That story is coming up shortly, and it's also Greek Week here on LTU's campus. We'll give you a sneak peek at Greek life, and we'll take a look at some new rules as it relates to onside kicks in football on the MHSAA Minute. That's right. Our main event takes place on the volleyball court this week. Plus, we've got action in cross country, boys soccer, girls swimming, boys tennis, even boys water polo. There's a lot of meat on our barbecue grill this holiday weekend, so let's dig in. This is the Red Zone Recap. We start with a West Mercy showdown as East Kentwood made the two-hour trip to take on the Eaglets from Orchard Lake St. Mary's. The junior, Keontae Blakely, breaks free and goes in for the 65-yard touchdown. East Kentwood goes on to win 21 to nothing. Down River League, the Trenton Trojans at home to take on the Marauders from Gibraltar Carlson, fresh off beating Woodhaven for the first time in nearly a decade, scored on their first six drives. Senior Steven Sanders powering through, emerging from the scrum, finding the end zone. Carlson moves to 2-0 for the first time since 2014. They win big 42-14. Big rivalry game in the GAC. Beecher and Hamity also looking for win number one. And the Hawks strike first. Deontay McCoy dropping dimes like Kevin Love. He hits Trevante Davis in stride. Hamity beats Beecher for the first time in history, 32 to seven. Let's head to Ottawa County and home with some of the best ice cream around Hudsonville as Unity Christian brought in Gaylord from the Big North Conference. The Crusaders opened up the second half with a 40-yard touchdown and never looked back. Austin Shaban has blockers, nice move, sideline, and success. Hudsonville Unity Christian goes on to beat Gaylord 38-22. Let's cross the Mackinac Bridge to the UP for a non-conference matchup as Nagani took on Calumet. Calumet would score the final two touchdowns of the game, including here with 19 seconds left. Brett Lucas scores from six yard out. Calumet beats Nagani 28-21. Let's go to Detroit Renaissance for the Saturday special. Detroit Cody Comets taking on the River Rouge Panthers. Both teams won last week, but only one will remain unbeaten. River Rouge establishing the run game. The senior Alexander Carter up the middle for the 20 yard touchdown. The Panthers take the early seven nothing lead. More from the Panthers and Alexander Carter. He fights his way up the middle, looks to be down, but nope, not giving up on this one. Breaks multiple tackles and on his way for the 19-yard touchdown, Panthers lead 14-0 at the half. Alexander Carter was in beast mode all game long, evading the Comets, showing great balance on this 14-yard touchdown. Panthers take the 21-0 lead. How about some passing in this game? Junior quarterback Emmanuel Ferguson scrambling in the pocket until he spots the sophomore Xavier Smith wide open in the end zone. He catches the ball with both feet on the ground for the touchdown. The Panthers win this one 38 to 8. Welcome to our second of a three part series on new rule changes for the 2017 season. One of the most exciting plays in football is the onside kick, which has turned the tide around in many games. In the interest of safety, national high school rules this year have eliminated the onside kick where the ball is kicked with great force off the tee into the ground, generating a pop-up ball which creates a dangerous recovery situation. 
This kind of pop-up kick will immediately be blown dead by the officials and a five-yard penalty will be assessed to the kicking team. Onside kicks that are dribbled along the ground hitting at least twice are still legal by rule. And the kicker can still pooch kick the ball straight up into the air off the tee. But the pop-up kick, which hits the ground first and bounces only once, is no longer a playable ball. Next week, we'll talk about some of the other rule changes for the 2017 season. To be a referee, go to our website. Where there's help wanted, just whistle. The State Champ Scoreboard Show is where you get all the latest breaking high school football scores and news every Friday night. Lauren Plant, Tom Markowski, Scott Bernstein, Alan True, and contributors from all around the state give you all the preps football dish you're craving. Tune in on 97.1 The Ticket here on Southeast Michigan from 1030 to midnight all season long. You can also listen to the show on a host of other stations listed on your screen now. And everyone can watch the show live on Facebook. Don't miss it. I want to be a dermatologist, and though a lot of universities tried to recruit me for basketball, Lawrence Tech had the science curriculum that I wanted. LTU Southfield Campus is a great place to learn, and the classes are small enough that I don't have to wait for office hours to talk to my professors. They're usually right by my side, challenging me and guiding me toward a successful future. Lawrence Tech. Possible is everything. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. Touchdown, Alright State Champs fans, we have a special treat for you. Miss Brittany from Last Chance U stopped by our studio to talk about her time on the hit Netflix series and she'll talk about what she has going on now. Let's check it out. For those of you who don't know, Last Chance U is a docuseries on Netflix that follows the story of the football team at East Mississippi Community College. Their program is known for taking on drop-down athletes and working with them on the field, academically, and emotionally so they can return to play at a major university. Miss Brittany was an academic advisor. As I saw throughout my career, a lot of the academic issues that those players had had nothing to do with academics. There was a deep-rooted issue socially from their upbringing, from just the pressure of being a college athlete that created some of those academic problems. And so my role, although it was an athletic academic counselor, really became counselor of all things to help those athletes um, really believe in themselves in the classroom, the way that they believed in themselves on the field. Season two of the series is currently streaming on Netflix. And if you haven't binge watched it already, you may want to cover your ears. The theme kind of of season two is just this battle, this internal battle of changing and becoming who you really want to be. Um, I ended up, spoiler alert, but I ended up leaving um, East Mississippi. Just really felt like I had been given a platform with the show that was greater than East Mississippi Community College. And I have started my own company, 10,000 Pencils is the name of the company, where I can be hired by any athlete anywhere, um, by coaches, by administrators, by school districts, to come in and create what we created at East Mississippi wherever it needs to be created. And one of those places is right here in Michigan. Brittany's going to be working with our academic advisors uh, and really bringing the model that she did at East Mississippi and bringing that to Madison so then they can take that and really spread out and we call it having little Brittany's around 
the Madison District Public Schools. It's not just about me and it's not just about 10,000 pencils, it's about helping people like that, people that also want to be inspirational to go do it. And if we can do that, if we can take 10,000 pencils and we have Britney's, you know, all over the country, we can change the face and the course, not only of, of college football, but of education in this country as a whole. To catch more of our interview with Miss Brittany, go to statechampsnetwork.com. For In Focus, I'm Kiara Hay. We're, Hi, the, we're the Unity Christian, Christian Crusaders, and, and it's, it's time, time to get the highlights and, and cheer! And cheer. Woo! And I want you to have a good time out there and establish a starting point for us for the season. Okay? You think we're all ready for today? Yeah. All right, come on. Let's get out there and let's have some fun. Let's get to some cross-country action. Milford invite at the Kensington Metro Park. Seven schools competing in this one. No team scoring, all about the individual performance. We begin with the girls. As a team, Milford, the defending Division I state champions. Junior Victoria Heiligenthal is looking to best her 10th place finish at MIS a year ago. Looking good here as she took first for the Lady Mavericks. Yay! Now let's get to the boys. East Kentwood, known for their greatness on the track, six state titles since 2009, including last spring, but not known for cross country. Senior Will Westveer did not compete at the cross country state meet a year ago, but off to a great start in 2017 as he wins the Milford Invite individual gold in a very talented field. Let's go inside for some boys water polo. The combined seventh ranked squad of Holt and East Lansing headed to Ann Arbor to face the fifth ranked Pioneers first quarter and let's call Holt East Lansing the hotel in the white caps with possession shot clock down to a mere second junior Kareem C finds the back in the net with help from Cam Spicer 1-0 lead great goaltending on both sides of the ball in this one Jack Badgett from Pioneer the hard shot denied by keeper Matthew Erickson hotel still in the lead 2-1 in the second quarter Ann Arbor working the perimeter Badgets with the ball, lofts it up for Diego Sanchez Burks, skies for the pass and scores. Pioneers down four at halftime. Third quarter now, the hotel working their magic all night. The senior Jonathan Ward strikes goal. Long shot past the Pioneer keeper Antonellis. Hotel doing some damage as they lead 7 3. The hotel senior Cam Spicer had a dominating night. He scored four. Cam doing some dancing around the goal, thanks the keeper. Fifth of the night, they win this matchup 11 to six. Let's go to boys soccer. Ottawa Kent Conference matchup. Holland West Ottawa, the visitors versus the Eagles rep in Hudsonville High. Pick things up first half. West Ottawa in black. Cappy Urbina will lead the junior Omar Morales with a great pass. Morales will do the rest. Panthers snag a one nothing lead. Hudsonville would even it up as the West Ottawa keep Sam beat them, saw this cross-court ball chipped out of his reach. Drew Atkins waiting on the back door to send it home. We were tied at one going into intermission. West Ottawa would take the lead early in the second half. Ivan Chacon, a beautiful free kick in the box. Eagles goalie Grant Sitsuma knocks it down, but the senior Esteban Rosas in perfect position to clean it up. They added another goal and led 3-1. Now, despite several yellow cards that were handed out to Hudsonville, the Eagles kept it together to notch two late goals, both by the sophomore Jack DeBoer, including this one through traffic. That's the way it would end, 3-3 tie. The game, the game, yeah, the game. Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize the hardworking people in the communities they serve with the Sarah Chevrolet Community Awards. September's Teacher of the Month Award was given to Todd Crouch from Southfield Christian High School. Todd is an art teacher and the head coach for track and cross country. Well, Todd is a great coach. He is one of those people who does the little things and it makes a big difference. Uh, he is really good at building relationships with kids and he makes a real impact on kids' lives. The school recently honored Todd and his track and field team for their 2017 championship title. I think he deserves Teacher of the Month because he has a special connection to each of his students and athletes, unlike a lot of other teachers and coaches I have and he's really hands-on and his heart is really into his job. He's just a really great person, uh, whether he's teaching or coaching, he's always very engaging. He's actually the reason, pretty much the reason that I started running track. Sarah Chevrolet is proud to recognize him as Teacher of the Month. On behalf of Sarah Chevrolet, I would like to congratulate Ty Crouch on being the Teacher of the Month. Congratulations.
girls swimming, boys tennis, our main event in volleyball from Waterford, plus some selected MHSAA.TV coverage is still ahead. And remember, if you missed any part of today's program or you want to check out our high school football show, Extra Point, just go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com, or simply log on to our State Champs TV YouTube page. We'll be right back. so many opportunities to kids. It gives them an opportunity to see where they fit within a team, persevere, understanding how to work with different personalities. Those are the lessons that will make you a successful adult. As a mom, you have to have an understanding of what concussions are. Concussions are things that are treatable. If we take care of athletes, they will be able to develop and have a long, happy, healthy life. Certified service means more than taking care of cars. It means taking care of customers. And that's our focus at Sarah Chevrolet in Southfield. Our technicians maintain your vehicle with the same parts used to build it. And our convenient location, extended service hours, and online scheduling make it easy for you to get in and out fast. You can count on Sarah Chevrolet for competitive pricing and a job well done. A full synthetic oil change, tire rotation, and multi-point inspection is only $49.95. Sarah Chevrolet of Southfield, service that stays one step ahead. It's my student A. Okay, let's go. Okay. Time to go to college. How can I get started? Want to gain more knowledge, but I can't pay out of pocket. Call my student A today and we can get you on the way. If you really want it, all you got to do is make a way. Looking for a scholarship, you trying to lend some grants? Visit my student A and we can help with that. My student A has the knowledge and tools to make college accessible, affordable, but We jump back in the pool, but now for some girls swimming. Cranbrook Kingswood taking the short trip to Birmingham to take on the Falcons from Groves. Cranbrook, currently the third ranked team in Division Three. We start with the opening race of the night, 200 medley relay. Cranes took seventh in this event at States a year ago. Here, Camille Mizra holds off a late charge by Groves' Taylor Moylanen to get the victory. Groves came in ranked 8th in the current D2 rankings. Nikki Barnas qualified for states in the 500 in 2016, here in the butterfly to the wall first. We had a good race in the 100 freestyle, the battle for first between the Falcons Moylanen and Camille Roche. Bottom of your screen, the senior Moylanen gets the win. But Cranbrook stepped up, fresh off a 50-free win in the recent Milan quad. The Cranes' Gwen Woodbury makes it two for two. Cranbrook wins the meet. We travel back to the west side for boys tennis, tussle between a pair of the Forest Hills area schools, Central meeting Northern. Forest Hills Central state champs two of the last three years, runners up in 2016. We begin number one singles. Connor Grenshaw taking on Peter Renucci. Far court, Grenshaw has competed at number one singles since he was a freshman, state runner up as a sophomore, blistering forehand, Connor one and two straight. Northern as a team finished seventh a year ago, where in two singles, Nav Dalmia was a final semifinalist in four singles. Far court versus Central's Nick Solon. Good back and forth until Dalmia with a nice drop shot. He won in straight sets. Next to number one doubles, Central's Jacob Wilcher and Aiden Rinbrandt going up against Parker Mori and Aiden's brother Cole. Yes, brothers squaring off. Aiden, the defending two double state champ, but with a different partner. Near court, new partner Wilcher with the backhand. Cole's rebuttal too strong. Central won this one in three. But this would be Northern's day. Three dubs. The duo of Benny Lawson and Sanchez Thalman would take care of business against brothers Mike and Chris Batiste. Straight set win. Huskies beat the Rangers. We go back to boys soccer now for some MHSAA.TV coverage of a non-league matchup between Plainwell and Whitehall from Wednesday night. 
This was a competitive game, both teams exchanging goals in the first half. In white, the Kalamazoo area's playing well advanced to the D2 regionals a season ago. Trojans getting on the board. It was a 1-1 game in the halftime. Muskegon County's Whitehalls, Brett Evans and Joshua Gonzalez each had a goal in the game, but this one would end up in a 2-2 tie. Time now to take a look inside Lawrence Technological University. Greek life at Lawrence Tech has a rich tradition of fostering student involvement and development. All of this week and next week, the Greek Life Recruitment Fair is happening on campus, where members of the 10 LTU fraternities and sororities are looking to find new members and lifelong friends. We just had our lunch event at 1230, and then tonight we have a, another event at 830. Capture the flag, so everyone has their events going on, so it's, it's really a fun time. You really get to get involved in community service and volunteer work. Um, you kind of find a family away from home and coming into college, that's something that can be a little nerve wracking. So I definitely found my family away from home. Students have chosen to become members of fraternities and sororities because of the life changing opportunities and experiences these organizations provide. Greek letter organizations were founded on the ideals of scholarship, community service, leadership and lifelong friendships. Lawrence Tech's fraternities and sororities continue to not only uphold these ideals, but strive for excellence within each of them. If you're interested in rushing at a fraternity or sorority at LTU, head over to the website ltu.edu slash greeklife to find out more. Yellow Flag Productions is the parent company of State Champ Sports Network. We produce a lot of other programming besides high school sports. We create commercials for a number of companies, and we always have a new TV series going on, including our most recent, Authentic Michigan. But we do so much more. So go to yellowflagproductions.com to check out everything we do. It's simple. At Yellow Flag Productions, we create content. And we can for your business, too. Go to yellowflagproductions.com. I want a career in robotics and automation, so I chose Lawrence Tech for its first in Michigan robotics engineering program. LTU's brand new STEM complex has a robotics lab where we can design, build, and program robots in a creative atmosphere. And the best thing is, I haven't graduated yet, but I already have a job in my field. I know I made the right choice for my career. Lawrence Tech, possible is everything. Fundraising should be fresh, flavorful, and simple. We have the perfect solution at Hungry Howie's, Dough Razor. Your team or school can sell paper pizza certificates that can be redeemed for one medium pizza at participating locations. Hungry Howie's makes it easy. It's just a little mini pizza box, but we make lots of money, lots of dough. Go to DoughRazor.com to learn more and sign up. Your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. Welcome to Hungry Howie's Dough Razor. It's another fall Friday night, and your kids should be playing. playing high school football. It's a fun game, and it's safer than ever. It's safe because the rules, the coaching, and the equipment are better than ever before. As a result, serious injuries are at an all-time low. Seriously. And build. Strong schools, lifetime memories, and tomorrow's community leaders. And it's mother approved. It's a great game, and we want to teach it to your kids. Welcome back to State Champs. We have time for one more game this week and we're heading inside to the volleyball court. It's been 16 years since Stony Creek High School opened its doors in Rochester Hills. However, this is the first year they've hosted a volleyball invitational. 16 schools accepted the invite. Let's find out what went down. Time for this week's main event. Schools across the Detroit metro area filled up the elite sportsplex in Waterford for the first annual Stony Creek Invite. In the Gold Division Tournament Championship, two schools representing the Oakland Activities Association, Lake Orion taking on the Highlanders from Rochester Adams. Dragons beat all five opponents heading into the finale and have been a force in Class A. That includes a state title appearance back in 2011. Pick things up in the first game. After a good rally, the senior Daniel Sargent had 33 kills and eight blocks on the day. 
Lake Orion swept Stony Creek in the quarters and Romeo in the semis, still first game. The senior outside hitter, Lauren Van Loon, right there to send it home. Dragons were cruising as they took game one. Rochester Adams knocked off Ann Arbor Skyline in the quarters and Graham Blank in the semis for the right to face the Dragons. Just a 500 record in 2016. Highlanders looking to make big strides this season. Paige Headland with the rejection on the Paige Briggs spike attempt. The Highlanders hoping to feed off that momentum. Sophie Knoll to Bailey Pease for the kill that cannot be returned. But Lake Orion is ranked fourth in the state and they played like it. The junior setter, Ren McCauley, sends it right into your living room. 109 points in the tourney for Ren. Dragons didn't lose a set all tourney. Let's slow it down for game point. Senior Aaron Collins over to Sargent who blasts the cross court kill. Lake Orion is perfect for the tourney, ready for the season. Dragons dominate the first ever Stony Creek invite. That's all the time we have this week, but our high school sports coverage really never ends, right Lauren? Never. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Our social media team is always at work. And if you go to our website, statechampsnetwork.com, read our weekly blogs and feature stories. There's a ton of great insight on our website. And we can't forget Instagram and Snapchat because we're active on there too. So engage with us and celebrate high school sports together. That's right, it's big love fest. Couldn't have said it better. Now, when it comes to high school sports, on the traditional ways you're used to consuming it, we've got that covered too. In fact, we own the weekend. Friday nights, 1030 to midnight. The State Champs Scoreboard Radio Show on stations all across the state and live on Facebook. State Champs Extra Point, the high school football show, airs Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. on Fox Sports Detroit. And as always, State Champs High School Sports Show runs every Sunday, 9 a.m., 39 weeks a year on Fox Sports Detroit. Yeah, and for everyone with families in Texas or Louisiana and other parts of the South, we hope your families are safe. And of course, Michigan played a massive role in the development of the labor movement and respecting workers. So happy Labor Day to everyone. We'll see you next week. Date Champs is presented by Lawrence Technological University. Possible is everything. The Michigan High School Athletic Association, promoting the value and values of educational athletics. The Michigan Army National Guard, a proud partner and official military branch of the MHSAA. Hungry Howie's Dough Razor, your next fundraiser comes with flavored crust. And Sarah Chevrolet, the low payment people.